Welcome, everyone. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. I'm Caroline Nisa. And I'm Carmen Bello. And we are here live on Because Magazine's Instagram account and on our website for our Friday afternoon shoppable live stream. Mm. It's such a miserable day outside here in London yeah. that we thought we would pick some really beautiful things given retail is in a weird and interesting place with all the shops having opened now, yeah. but spring summer is transitioning to pre-fall. And Carmen and I thought it'd be fun to pick some of our kind of favorite things that we've seen so far right now in shops and style them in two different ways. So we've got our first two takes live stream, which everything is shoppable if you mm -hmm. are on our website watching us live streaming there. You'll see little overlays when we're talking about product. And we're also at the end of this going to share some interesting retail news, product news, and other bits and bobs that we wanted to share live with you. Now, we are live on Instagram, so yes. do, if you have any questions, just, or you want to heckle us, or <laughs> tell us that we're completely out of our minds for putting red with yellow, whatever, yeah. um, definitely ask questions. And we've got the lovely Nas with us, and Delia, who's helping us out. So the whole Because team is here, and we want to hear what you're thinking. So, to start, let's talk about the first dress that you yes. picked. Carmen. Yes, so I've picked a shirt dress from Nanushka. Delia, you can come up now. <laughs> which is going to be modelled by lovely Delia. Um, I think this is a great dress for this time of year because especially now things are opening up. It's smart but casual. And here she is wearing the beautiful dress. So um, as you can see, it's in this kind of gorgeous, very light canary shade with a nice little kind of knot detail in the middle. And it's just you know, a perfect throw-on piece that you really don't have to do that much with. Um, she's wearing it with these very cute Aida mules um, to just kind of elevate the look a little bit and I smarten love it up. I'm wearing Aida flats and yeah. they're German based. Yes, and I just think also they're the most comfortable shoes, yeah. like whether it has a heel or not, it's and just a super comfortable. Too. Yes, yeah. super, super accessible. Um, so one thing I want to layer with this dress is this kind of very simple but very pretty chain necklace. So, Where's that from? This is from Soma, sorry Julia, thank you. Um, also does great jewellery at a really accessible price. And I love this because it's just slightly, gives the look a bit of an edge, um, but it's still very feminine and pretty. I think it's a perfect going out look for dinners and restaurants now that they're open or even to a gallery. Um, and yeah, I love it. You kept it simple. So what I love about this dress is that it's got this open V-neck. Yeah. Um, which gives you a lot of room to... Um, Play with the jewelry. Accessorize, exactly. Mm. We're going to give Delia's next look so she yes. can change, actually. And I had actually styled this dress um, with a jacket. We also shot some overlays yesterday. It was really windy, yeah. so excuse any like kerfuffle with the hair and we were sort of being blown away. Very and, windswept. Yeah, yeah. In, a, in one of those not so um, meant to be ways. Mm. But I had actually paired this dress for me. I would put it with a jacket and I also had added um, a bag. Did I add a bag? <laughs> yes, I did. The <laughs> queen bag. Thank you for reminding me. We shot so many different things. And we've got some overlays of the bag, but I thought I would just share it with you also in person in case, because I've got Rafa here as well. This is the new McQueen Curve Bag. And what I loved about it is that it's also sort of in this buttery canary yellow um, that goes with the gorgeous yellow of the Nanushka dress. And it's really small, but sweet. I you love can the kind shape. of me too. The shape is really beautiful. It's got this amazing um, sort of puffed leather seams that kind of crisscross around it. You can wear it cross body over the shoulder. And this is their big new bag for the season. And I actually think this is going to be one of their icons going forward, the McQueen uh, curve bag. So this is beautiful. I think we only have it in overlay in black, but search online if you want it in different colors. It comes in everything. But the black version is a classic, although if you're a bit more brave, go for color. And then I was wearing it with the 
Rodeber, which I'm never pronouncing very well. It's <laughs> so the last time you say I that know, name. <laughs> I know. Scandinavian pronunciation is not so great. Mm. Not my forte. But just jacket on the shoulders and metallic. And I paired it with a pair of Santoni metallic, super simple sandals, which for me, hopefully when the sun comes out, yeah. we'll be able to get our toes out. Yeah. Um, but I love these sandals just for their simplicity. And I love the metallic shine. So for me, this was like a night version mm. of what you had styled. Yeah, exactly. It was kind of a nice day to night yeah. kind of way of wearing it. Kind of thing, it. two different ways. Mm. We're moving on. Moving on. Next is going to be printed and like embellished jeans. So this is something that I feel like we've seen a lot recently. Mm. Um, lots of collaborations, which we'll talk about. But we're going to focus on for this look, a pair of Ganny jeans. Ganny actually collaborated with Levi's for this new denim kind of upcycle collection. And I believe this is from their second drop yeah. of the, um, their collaboration. So it's been very popular. You've definitely seen it everywhere. Um, and there should be some footage of me wearing the look playing now. So I'm wearing it with a really lovely bright yellow again, Arquette jumper, which is actually made with raw wool. So in weather like this, yeah. it really protects you from the wind. Super comfy, super cozy. And I just thought to, it was best to stick with like bold colors, let the jeans do the talking, uh, let the print kind of take all the focus and attention. Also paired them with another pair of Aede kind of slightly heeled sandals, a bit like yours, Caroline, but I think with a bit more of a heel. Mm. Um, and it's just a perfect day look. I think now everyone's gonna be re-wearing jeans again. Um, pulling them back out of the wardrobe after they've been in hibernation. I think these jeans are just a bit more of an interesting version of your basics. And then I'd also, um, if you wanted to kind of update the look again, I thought you could pair it with a nice little collar like this. So this is from a very small brand called Kit A. Um, and they actually send sewing kits so you can make this yourself at Aww, home. If you're not good at sewing and don't have nimble yeah. fingers, then they do also do made to order ones. So you can just buy this one. Um, but I thought considering everyone's kind of taking up a new hobby and a craft, now is the perfect time to kind of continue it and try and keep it going for <laughs> as long as possible rather than just being a lockdown thing. Yeah. Um, and I find stuff like sewing and doing things with my hands just really relaxing. So, do you um, watch the great British sewing bee? I've watched bits of it. Yeah, yeah it's it's quite addictive. It is and super I, addictive. And I get why um, sewing will probably continue. Yeah, exactly. Post lockdown. And it's great as well if you're trying to be more sustainably minded mm. and you've got clothes that you love, but maybe buttons fallen off mm. or. Uh, you've got a yeah. hole in it as well. It. Yeah, exactly. Using these skills to fix it is really important, I think. Yeah. So um, that's that's one thing I'm trying to take out of lockdown. Nice. Um, so yeah, that's how I'd update that look. I hear Delia, who has changed. Oh, she's um, on her way up now. So I've taken the same Ganny Levi's um, printed denim. Ooh. There they are. You wear it better than I do, yeah. definitely. <laughs> I love the paper bag waist. So mm. for me, I really wanted to style it in a way that actually shows that off. So I've paired it with a very black tuxedo shirt that Bud shirt makers, who are sort of Mayfair shirt makers, but Laura Bailey has, um, you know, a sort of British style icon has actually collaborated with Bud shirt makers to create a series of women's shirting oh, cool. based on sort of the men's wear tuxedo and sleeper styles. And so I love this tucked in with really like sharp black belts. I've paired it with Jimmy Choo boots that um, I got last fall. So there are similar versions on their website. But these jeans, I love this paper bag style. And I remember wearing when these printed jeans were sort of like really popular 10 years ago. Yeah. We were all wearing printed denim. Yeah. And I wonder where that's gone. So in any case, I love this look, super simple. Um, you don't really, oh, and I paired it with a Coperni bag. So Coperni, if you guys do know, don't know, great French two guys, couple who um, are, killing it with their accessories actually. Mm. And they have this beautiful bag, which is so soft, feels like origami, but a great tote bag. And I just love the sort of proportion of these long, I mean, Delia's got the longest legs anyway. Yeah. <laughs> long, Perfect long, long, model. long legs, big, 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 big tote. 
and just kind of keeping it really simple with black, which I don't normally wear, but in this case, I yeah, completely would. Yeah, it looks would. very, very yeah. chic. So I'm gonna give Delia her next outfit because bef while she's changing, I did wanna share with you guys. Oh yeah, thanks. Um, I think Levi's is doing such an insane job right now. They're very busy. They're so <laughs> busy. So second collaboration with Ganny, mm -hmm. but right now at Mew Mew, there is a beautiful pop-up shop at Selfridges, which is on until only the 30th of May. And they are showing, and we've got images to share with you, incredibly um, detailed and embellished, upcycled Levi's that Mew Mew are embellishing in their very Mew Mew-esque way. So we're sharing images from their lookbook, um, where they're like beaded on the shorts, um, on the sort of like hem of the shorts, the jackets with these crystals. And uh, the, the lookbook is actually shot on Lila Moss, Kate Moss's daughter, as well as the actress Emma Corrin from The Crown, who played Princess Di. And I just think it's so smart to like mm. combine Levi's denim with Mew Mew's embellishments. Mm. They're so pretty. Yeah. And like I said, Selfridges right now, everything is there up until the end of May and probably also on the Mew Mew website. I need to double check mm. that. But if you do want a fun retail experience, go check it out there because they're really beautiful and a really nice collaboration again for Levi's. The last Levi's collaboration <laughs> that we want to chat to you about, yeah. which we don't actually have any samples unfortunately to share with you, is Valentino. So Valentino and Levi's have also collaborated. Like you mm. said, Levi's is very Super busy. busy. Yeah. Um, and they did, this was a show I actually got to see in Milan where they had beautiful chiffon blouses, very mm. Valentino sort of cut like flowers, paired with like very simple 501 style uh, Levi jeans. And so Netaporte is now selling these as well as um, Valentino.com. So if you're up for some designer Levi's. Go for it. Whoever said that jeans are, are dead are yeah, no. completely wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but it, I find it fascinating that post pandemic, I think you want iconic. Mm. And if you want it sort of like the upped version, you know, the luxury version, yeah. you have all these brands doing interesting things. But I think the Mew Mew upcycled version, so smart. Yeah, I you know. Love it. Reusing kind of um, Levi's that already exist. So they're not making anything new, That's but great. they're completely just re embellishing it. Yeah. So next, we've next got look. Ooh, another day to night now look that, that yes to take. Yeah, so we kind of had this idea of as the world, well, the UK is opening back up, you want those looks where you can go from potentially being in the office or even just working from home to out for dinner or out for a bar. Yeah. So we've got a one dress by Izzy Miyaki, which Delia, if she's ready, <laughs> is perfect, there we go. And this oh, dress, no way up, I'm gonna say, muddle. feels like the lightest piece yeah. of textile when you sort of hold it. And that's yeah. one of the great things about um, Isimiyaki, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, 100%. So Ooh. this is uh, like the open. dress we've picked. So I've styled it with another denim piece, another Ghani and Levi piece. Um, the way I would wear it actually is just have it a little bit off the shoulder and then we do up the front two buttons as well. So it really kind of pulls pulls in your waist um, and yeah, always gives kind of like a, this corset effect where your waist is really cinched in and then the skirt of the dress just kind of like pleats out, which I think is really pretty. And I love the sleeves. I didn't notice yeah, the sleeves before. Yeah, really they also have these really interesting kind of balloon sleeves yeah. um i'm not really sure if in the rain like how this would work but it's just really interesting design and really cool from and they're Gunny. like kimono sleeves yeah That's exactly like very 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 wide so i'd wear this with another pair of i80 flats um and i mean obviously today is not the day to be wearing sunglasses but if it was a sunnier <laughs> day um i'd pick these somebody's sunglasses as well um, just in a really nice, simple tortoise shell, kind of like a exaggerated, kind of mix of a cat those eye and a round eye. Where are those from? Sun Buddies. Oh. It's kind of, and they're made from recycled plastic as well. Mm. And yeah, I just That's think a great this look. is. Yeah, this is your day look. I think this will this will get you anywhere. Yeah. And then moving on to the night look. Yeah. Well, so I took the same dress, but I, in fact, and I think we've got some overlays to show you. 
I belted it up with a tight black belt. I, again, had my lovely Santoni metallic sandals. And what I did was just, I mean, my, my only trick really in my styling book <laughs> is uh, to put statement cocktail earrings. And I'm actually wearing them with this outfit and they're from Vanda Jacinto. Mm who is Brazilian, mm -hmm. and she does these incredible resin earrings that are big, bold resin. This has got some um, crystals in here. Um, and I love the way it looks, just super simple dress, and even like the way that Delia's got it on now, which is completely loose. Yeah. You know, I liked it really tight, belted up, mm. but I think, you I know, think it looks really pretty it's such a great, like that. Yeah, that's and it's amazing. got so much movement yeah. that that's Walking the genius the of Isumiyaki, which yeah. I think his pleats please is uh, pretty amazing. Yeah. So, two takes, day, night, and thank you, Julia, for looking yeah. so thank amazing you in so them. so much. So, my Vanda earrings, some Tony sandals, a little bit of metallic, and a little bit of bling. I think that's our two takes down. Two takes, so three outfits, three pieces, mm -hmm. two different takes, which was really fun to do. And we hope to bring you more two take segments in some more of our live streams, yeah. just because it shows you the versatility of these pieces. Because we're all about lifetime wardrobe pieces yes. that you can like style in any way that you want. Now, we just showed one pair of sunglasses. You know, it sucks that there's no sun in London. <laughs> if you're dialing yeah. into New York, I hear it's like boiling and yeah. baking. If yeah. you're in Europe, I hear it's also boiling and baking. But yeah. here, it is gray. But who cares? We're still going to wear sunglasses. Yeah. The sun will come soon. The sun will come <laughs> soon. And we uh, thought we'd feature three pairs of sunglasses that we're loving right now. The first one we wanted to show you was L'Envin. Um, and again, in the wind swept moment, um, but maybe Carmen, you can put those yeah, on. Yeah, put these on. L'Envin, Bruno Saliali, you know, doing an amazing job at L'Envin, really revitalizing um, and making it so fun. And I love these sunglasses, which are red, big, kind of oversized, mm. have, to have the logo on the side, mm. but they're really good sunglasses and I feel like they fit everybody's shape size, which is really lovely. Yeah, I love these. Next, we have the Black Prada symbol, symbol um, which are super ar architectural in shape. They've got these amazing cuts, like prisms, um, that are sort of reflected um, in the way of a lot of architecture. I'm gonna take this off, sorry, just to get a little bit more <laughs> shape in our table, yes. Um, but these are gorgeous. These are big, oversized, again, Carmen just got her haircut and they are like, it's the perfect haircut for yeah. sunglass showing <laughs> yeah, off. Yeah, okay. Just FYI. Um, not even intended. Not no. even intended, <laughs> I know. So now you're my sunglasses well. There you go. <laughs> but I love these Prada symbols and they also come in a smaller version, which I really like. But I love the angles and the cuts mm. of those. Yeah, very geometric. And very geometric. Quite different. Yeah. And good oversized if you're wanting to look mysterious. Yeah. And then the last one that I... Um, want to share with you guys is coming from the Italian blazer brand called Blase. And they have done these sunglasses in collaboration with, um, is it called LGR? Yes, I want to say. LGR. Yeah. LGR. Who apparently are like more men's spectacles, which makes sense given the men's wear um, kind of linkage. And what I love about these collaborations, not only is it like a very classic shape, but every pair, you can choose between two different pocket kerchief oh, prints. Yeah, which yeah. is so smart, given, you know, you put that in your blazer, like Blase. So I love what the girls at Blase have done. Their first ever sunglasses collaboration that comes cute. with a little pocket square. Very so cute. you can look mysterious and very dapper at the same and time. And I love how um, on the on the arm, yeah. on, the, on the arm, yeah. it has <laughs> it has a little affirmation saying you make me smile, smile which Aww. is very cute. So you can just look at that and read that and smile <laughs> and smile. <laughs> and it's smile. a reminder, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Um, okay, sunglasses. Another thing that makes you feel so summery, even though we have no sun, is a pair of sandals that I wanted to share with you that we tried to get yesterday, but we didn't get quite get them in time yeah. yesterday. And I don't have any overlays because we weren't able to shoot them in time, but they're so adorable. And I'm hoping Rafa can pick these up through our second camera. 
They are little mango fruit aquazura sandals. Adorable. They're so adorable. The, I mean, Edgardo and aquazura have got a whole range of fruit. They're called tutti frutti sandals. <laughs> And they're little beaded fruits. They have strawberries, bananas, watermelons. Whatever fruit you mango, desire. Whatever fruit you desire. <laughs> and I mean, you know, this is going to get us in a travel mood. Even if you can't travel, we can't travel. I think it's going to be the perfect pair of summertime shoes to get you in the mood. And I love these. And um, I'm definitely going to be wearing these to yeah. make me feel like I'm being transported to Capri. <laughs> So all that in a shoe is not so bad, not mm. so bad at all. Um, let's talk about the Fendi at mm. Selfridges, uh, another capsule collection that's literally just launched today. Yep, so I think the capsule actually launched last week, okay. but um, there is now a pop-up happening at Selfridges where you can, where the capsule is being sold and you can buy it there. Um, it's a summer capsule, their lookbook should be kind of playing as overlays now. Um, it's very much inspired by being out and about in countryside mm, and you it's know. like a little camping, yeah. outdoors. Yeah, so the lookbook doesn't really show as much, but in Selfridges, I think they have some specific exclusive items being okay. sold there, like camping sets, like a tent. Um, a Fendi tent. Yeah, imagine. So good. Gucci bag, yes, yes. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. We're getting, we're getting um, told oh, that we just like, up, yeah. Sorry. We've I, I that skipped we're... something by mistake, but we'll come back to it we'll once back we finish it. Fendi. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> sorry. So as I actually have a camping trip planned, so Ooh. I mean, I do, yeah. In my hot to... I mean, I'd love Think to do it with a Fendi. Fendi, yeah. Fendi so if anyone's tent. got any camping trips planned, yeah. then Fendi is now your next stop yeah. for fashionable camping wear. Selfridges um, is busy. That's quite amazing. Yeah, so yeah. the new new capsule, Fendi capsule, go check out Selfridges. Yeah, lots to see there. Definitely. I completely skipped by mistake. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Two of my favorite bags right now that um, we just got into the office, which I wanted to share with you. Mm -hmm. And they are very sweet. So Gucci have launched, maybe a week ago now, this beloved um, line, uh, which is a series of like icons. And this is their sort of classic Gigi Marmont bag. What I love about it is this little sort of um, embroidered heart mm -hmm. in its quilting in the back. This is a great shape. I have this in a different colorway and um, it works so classic. well as crossbody yeah. or your classic kind of chain handbag. But this beloved Gucci range just is very sweet and reminds us that we all need a little bit of love and a little <laughs> bit of hope. And then the other bag that I wanted to share because it's so adorable yeah. is the <laughs> tiniest, tiniest little puzzle bag from yeah. Loewe. Um, the nano puzzle bag. Puzzle I'd, bag's one of their like biggest stars. Biggest, isn't it? yeah, iconic. But look lot. how tiny it is. Like, <laughs> it's just so sweet. There is a chain somewhere in here, so you can have it as a crossbody. Oh, great. But you know, micro bags, I guess, are here to stay. And I just thought that this was so sweet. Um, you might need to wear it with the Gucci bag to be able to <laughs> yeah. carry all your stuff. This it's is so not going to fit. So true. You can fit put much. all the, the big essentials and yeah. the baby essentials and just have them as doubled up. Yeah. So two really fun bags that are new. This this one is on 24s.com, which is you. the um, LVMH plus multi-brand website, nice. which I think is an exclusive over there. So Nano, Nano Loewe bag. Well, we've got a few more things actually to tell you guys about, which is Chanel. Mm. Because literally an hour and a half ago, they launched a new video series on their website, Chanel.com, which talks about celebrity. And actually they asked six different um, artists. There's a professor, a filmmaker, um, an actress, Marion Cotillard, for example. There's Lil Buck, the dancing legend, mm -hmm. uh, the young dancing legend. And then there's also people like Professor Laurie Santos, who has a podcast on happiness. I don't mm -hmm. know if you've ever heard it. 
But they asked six and Graydon Carter from Vanity Fair, uh, the ex-editor of Vanity Fair, who obviously knows celebrity well. So there's six ruminations on the idea of celebrity, and this is all during the 100th anniversary of Chanel No. 5, ultimately one of the biggest sort of icons in fragrance, but Chanel kind of yeah. also just, you know, those double Cs being recognizable everywhere and around the world. So go check that out on chanel.com. We've also um, done a little rumination of our own over on tankmagazine.com. Mm. But I thought that was an interesting thing to share with you guys, given it literally launched an hour and a half ago. So go check that out. Last but not least, yep. it's all about smelling great. Yes, definitely. And we were lucky to get this beautiful Mary Katransu first ever fragrance from her in partnership with Bulgari. Mm. And it's her take on Omnia, which I think is one of their um, kind of iconic fragrances. Mm. But we love the colorful, uh, metallic kind of gradation of the bottle. It's so beautiful and it smells like summer. Yeah, yeah it's so <laughs> nice. It's, I, I'd say it's probably more of like a traditional scent, but in a lovely way, kind yeah. of a more modern version of yeah. like, your kind of traditional slightly musky sense but yeah. it's very refreshing it and is. and lovely i think it's it'll be like a staple kind of fragrance in, in your fragrance collection um something that you'd always go back to so i also just feel like since in london we don't really have a summer yet this is a fragrance that makes you feel like it's going to come yeah <laughs> you just feel more summery spritzing yeah, that on exactly. so love how mary has brought her colorful take to uh, Bulgari's sort of fragrance stable and very delicious. Yeah, definitely. And that's it. And that's that's it for our two takes. So we've done three outfits. Thought we'd share with you some fun um, bits and bobs products that we love that's just come in given that we're moving into a pre-fall season. Mm. We're hoping to bring more of these two take live streams. Thanks for your patience as we were running yeah. slightly late. I blame the storm outside. So do I. Yeah. So do I. <laughs> weather's ruined everything, including yeah. our mate. Oh so. yeah, including our audio <laughs> and tech issues. Yes. But thanks for joining everyone. Make sure you join in next week. We're going to have another one around Friday afternoon as well. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we'll get more of your comments and questions then as well too. So thanks again. See you soon, everyone. Thanks. Bye.